Hello Scorpio, welcome back to Bandit's Tarot by Serific Pathways. This is going to be your all's weekly tarot energies for February 28th through March 7th of 2022. We're going to be taking a look at the energies that you guys could be connecting yourself to this week or who is connecting themselves to you. You can apply this if you have Scorpio Sun. As soon as I said Sun. Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus within your charts. And you know what? If you are a Scorpio Sun, for some reason, intuitively, I'm getting an intuitive message here. Um, this is your message, okay? So you, you can still watch this if you have other Scorpio placements, but this is emphasized for some reason if you are a Scorpio sun sign. So something to bear in mind, guys, just moving forward. I never get things like that, that rarely, rarely like that, something like that ever happens. Um... So yeah, Scorpio, this is going to be your reading for February 28th through March 7th of 2022. Let's see what is happening with you. Please bear in mind that this is a collective reading, which means that the things that I will be reading on is not going to be pertaining to every single person that's watching this. But if you hear something that does click, then claim it because it is your message. Scorpio. Let's see what is happening. I'm getting Scorpio. You guys really don't want to talk or you're just being really secretive. You're keeping to yourself much like your nature. Being very secretive. Alrighty, Scorpio. So you guys have the Eight of Swords. Okay. By the way, guys, this is the Marseille Tarot, what I'm using here. If anyone's curious of the deck, it is the Marseille Tarot, or, or Tarot de Marseille, de Marseille. You have the Six of Cups. Some of you could be stuck in your head about someone from your past, um, or someone here from your past is thinking about you, Scorpio. You're definitely on their minds. You could be thinking, like, for some reason this week, there's a theme of nostalgia that's automatically hitting for you guys. Could be the Five of Swords. It could be the Five of Swords, too. For some of you, it's relating to an argument that you had with someone, or you could be watch your temper this, this week, Scorpio, because you, I'm just saying... You could say some things that you regret. And what do I mean by that? I mean like you could say things that you can't take back. Um, yeah, getting into an argument or something. What else can you... As far as signs, what I'm seeing here... I'm seeing Aries, Leo, Sagittarius... You guys also have the Two of Swords here, so it could be a miscommunication that happens this week, Scorpio. Just bear that in mind. Um, yeah, just bear that in mind because it could be causing a miscommunication could take place which leads to or escalates into an argument. And it could be relating to somebody from your past. Or this conversation conversation that's had is involving somebody from your past. Um, either way, it's on your mind or it's on their mind. It could be something that you guys recently had a conversation about that's kind of stuck with you. That's what I'm getting. Let's go ahead and clarify a few cards. Let's, let's, look at, let's take a look at what this Eight of Swords is talking about. What is this Eight of Swords talking about for Scorpio right now? 
Okay, so, yeah, someone is definitely watching you, Scorpio, or you're watching somebody. You guys pulled a page of swords. This is the creeper card. <laughs> That's one of the creeper cards that I read in the tarot. Uh, someone here is definitely watching you. It could be in real life, not to scare you or spook you. It could very well be on social media too, but someone here definitely is watching the other person. Scorpio's watching you if you're a cross watcher if you're a cross watcher. You guys also have the six of swords, so I'm getting that mentally you're moving on from something you or you're making a decision to move on from something. You have two sixes here. And I read sixes is relating to your past. And there's a close-up of my hands there. Like, there's sixes, two sixes here, relating to your past. And since this is the six of swords, that, that talks about you moving on from it. Or letting bygones be bygones. For some of you, that's what I'm... That's what I'm getting, but either way, you're going to be, be like, this is past. You're going to put this in the past. You could be deciding if you did have an argument with this person or a misunderstanding, then it's not worth risking the friendship that you have with them. That's another thing that I'm getting here. Let's go ahead and take a look at what this Five of Swords is talking about. So, some of you, this has already happened. The week prior or this has already happened some of you you're coming up on this again everyone is going to be different on their timeline of the events we discuss what is this five of swords talking about for scorpio for the week of february 28th to march uh 7th 2022 the moon Could be that you're just seeking answers here. Like you want answers for something. I'm getting Scorpio. Some of you have had an argument, dis misunderstanding, uh, mis miscommunication. Something where it led to two people not seeing eye to eye. And it possibly got the best of one of y'all. And the other person is regretting what they said or what happened or how things occurred and now one of y'all is wanting to move past this and move like sit it behind you okay let bygones be bygones now again it's going to be different for every single person okay it's going to be different for every single person you have your own free will so if you choose not to reconcile with this person then that's fine too but this air sign keeps popping up in your cards, Scorpio. This Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, they're watching you. They could also have water in their chart as well. It could be any signs, but just throwing out signs. Um, speaking of which, let's go ahead and clarify what this Page of Wands and this Two of Swords is talking about. This could be the person that doesn't know what they want. I'm hearing that a person doesn't know what they want. Excuse me. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. What is this page of wands talking about? This two of swords for Scorpio. The world. I get that this is a karmic cycle or a karmic lesson that the two of y'all are experiencing together. Um... Either way, there is going to be a positive outcome. That's what I'm seeing here, Scorpio. So that's what, you know, it may not start out to be this, but in the end, it's all going to be good, okay? <laughs> Some of you are dealing with a Libra, Libra, Libra or Taurus. Um, yeah, Scorpio. So let me know how that turns out at the bottom of the deck. You guys have... Uh, let's see the nine of swords okay and it popped out in reverse position so i'm getting that you are going to this is coming to an end 
you're getting out of a place of this haunting you at night. Some of you, this has really affected your mental health. I'm going to be honest with you. Like, you've really possibly had anxiety over this person. Or this person has anxiety over you. I'm seeing that someone has anxiety. But, yeah, Scorpio, let's go ahead and move on to your Oracle advice that you can take from this video. Um, I'm going to pause the camera so I can go and get the cards in the other room. So I'll be right back. Fredio. Okay, so I'm back. Scorpio, let's go ahead and take a look at what you can leave this video with. This is for Scorpio. Things that your higher self wants you to know for the week of February, February 28th to March 7th of 2022. Let's see what is happening with you, Scorpio. Okay, we have narrowness. Narrowness. And the lovers. Some of you are dealing with relationships. Karmic relationships. Um... Keep your mo keep an open mind and love, Scorpio. That's another thing that's coming across. Feeler. Some of you I'm getting is just feeling like the relationship or whatever you were caught up in. If what we said prior was happening within your dynamics, sorry for the shaking table, you're feeling that something is off here. Like you know that something is off. Um in synthesis. Pay attention to symbolism this week, Scorpio, as well. The Hanged Man. I'm getting that this week is going to give you the patience and give you, you know, the time to get a different perspective on something that you have been thinking about for a long time now or something that's been on your mind very heavy, heavily. I'm, I'm thinking that this week is a week of you guys can change your mentality, perhaps. And then that's what's going to close out any karmic cycle that needs to be closed out here. Because I'm getting, for some of you, they you want to change. You want change. You're waiting, you're waiting for things to change. I'm getting that for some people, you could be waiting for things to change in a relationship. And this could be the week where... A judgment call has to be made. What are, what are you going to do to make you feel better? Okay, Scorpio. So that ball is up for you to figure out. Um, I hope you got something from this reading. And if you are wanting a personal reading from me, if you still have questions, feel free to reach out. I will leave my contact information in the description box below of this video and then my website at the top of my YouTube channel. Now, now guys, I'm going to start saying this in my videos. I just want to say that on behalf of me, Isaac, okay, and Bandit's Tarot by Serithic Pathways or Serithic Pathways uh, Psychic Services, will never reach out to you soliciting for a reading. Well, I will never reach out to you for a reading. And the only two ways to get in contact with me would be my business phone, which is on my website. Or, you know, if you go to my website and book a reading with me, and that's really the only way. And all of those links I post in every single video that I do here on YouTube so if someone reaches out via some other network or reaches out to you personally, you heard it from me first. It's definitely not me. It is a scam. And I'm saying this because something hasn't happened to me like this yet, but it's been going on among other readers here on YouTube where people are uh, pretending to be them to get money out of people and scam them. So I'm just letting it be known. Guys, be careful for anybody that pretends to be me. All right? So, thank you, Scorpio. Until next week, I'll see you then. Good luck. Love ya. Namaste.